Welcome to the party. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lots to cover today. All things residential real estate across the DFW Metroplex. I'll tell you what, as if there's not always confusion in the marketplace, there sure as heck is confusion in the DFW market right now. We're going to get down to what is actually happening in DFW real estate, as well as your questions. You should already have this phone number saved in your cell phone, but if you have real estate questions of any kind, any time, call or text 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Or you can find us online anytime at ToddTremontyTeam.com. Just like my son says, ToddTremontyTeam.com. If you can't spell my name, that's okay. Just Google it. Get close enough. You'll find us, Todd Tremonti, T-R-A-M-O-N-T-E. We spend all day, every day here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, helping people buy and sell homes. We take your questions here, and we've got our finger on the pulse of what is happening in this market, talking with hundreds and hundreds of people every year as we help them buy and sell, and thousands of people as they make the decision to buy, sell, invest, move, rent, remodel, improve, and anything else in the category of residential real estate in Dallas-Fort Worth. We want to be your resource. We enjoy being your resource for homes on land, homes in desirable neighborhoods, and that goes for just about anything in and around Dallas, Fort Worth, and in between. Lots going on. we got a couple of stories to share with you this week about what is actually happening on the ground, what people are achieving, as well as the seemingly false narrative that it is fall. We've been talking about fall on the show for over a month now because it is very much the fall real estate market when we look at statistics. We think about strategy and negotiation. But it's hot outside, Phoenix. It's hot. We got producer Courtney in studio with microphone. Be ready, people. Hey, everybody. Be ready. <laughs> there she is, full price Courtney. We've also got making his radio debut on DFW's number one talk station, 820 AM WBAP. The man, the myth, the legend, the intern, Phoenix. Welcome. Here I am. There he Yay! is. There he is, folks. Said it with confidence. <laughs> if you're on the video, you might have caught one of the Phoenix wings being spread there you as go. he rises from the ashes of obscurity to step into being fully known, fully heard, fully seen. He's going to be a regular, the, I think. The glory, the depth of his real estate wisdom. I'm excited. I'm fired up. So if you got a question on anything real estate related, maybe it's for Full Price Courtney, maybe it's for Phoenix, maybe it's for me. We'll be glad to answer those for you as we make our way through the show. 214-310-0008 or ToddTremontiTeam.com. If you don't know what your current home's value is, you should go to ToddTremontiTeam.com right now. Phone, tablet, laptop, desktop, whatever you're into, and uh, click the Home Valuation button or the seller's button right there on the homepage. That's ToddTremontiTeam.com. You can find out what your home would sell for, what your home equity is. You can track it week to week, month to month, all right there at ToddTremontiTeam.com. You never know where the questions might come from this time. You might have some YouTube questions. We might have some podcast-oriented questions. If you ever miss the show live, you can find uh, full episodes on the podcast as well as bonus episodes of all kinds of educational information, Q&A sessions, a little storytelling, all sorts of things happening over at the podcast, DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti, wherever you catch your podcast. Okay, this first segment is brought to you by Patrick Glaros and his team of mortgage specialists over at Cardinal Financial. You can find them online at patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S. We spent nearly a full day with Patrick last week. He came in, did the radio show with us, did some podcast episode stuffs with us and spent some time with me on a consulting call with many of our real estate agent coaching and consulting clients who tune in from all over North America talking about what's happened with interest rates as well as what are the best strategies for home buyers in a market where rates for some people have gone up as much as 5%. That's right, Phoenix, 5%. Let me ask you a quick question, Phoenix. Mike on, here we go. If mortgage rates were at 2.5% and now they're at 7.5%, are you happier, less happy, or the same amount of happy about borrowing money for a mortgage? Less happy. Nailed it. Nailed it. So far, you have 100 
on this test. Phoenix, just so you guys know, I'm not going to say too much about him unless he doesn't want to, but he's an RISD student in an internship program getting to roll with us for the next semester here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. If you've got something you would like to share with Phoenix the intern so that he can learn about real estate life, business, and other things, drop that on our social media channels. You can find us on Facebook, Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, Instagram, Todd Tremonti Realtors. You can find me personally. Just look up my name. Where else are we, Courtney? TikTok. Gosh, she's so excited about I saying know. that. Listen, Todd got attacked this week on TikTok. I mean, well, let's be honest. Most weeks, Todd gets attacked. But this was TikTok. especially aggressive, yeah. trying to talk about the market and the good deals that are to be had. And people were like, what be, is happening? To be clear, I have a radio show. I don't know if you know that. You may be listening to right. it right this very minute. This it's called an expert. DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. It's not Boise. Or California Real Estate Weekly. It's DFW Real Estate Weekly. That's right. Yet, in their brilliance mm -hmm. and clear need to be heard, many, many, many people on the tick and talking were passionate about my level of ignorance <laughs> Stupidity, lack of <laughs> and aware, profession awareness. Yeah, all, clearly this in the guy wrong must group. be a real estate yeah. agent. Yeah, many of them literally typed letters that spelled out real uh tour, realtor, um, and they felt that I was an idiot, uh, and delusional, and mostly selfish. Selfish dirtbag was kind of the theme. God. Of course, that's what a realtor would say. Of course, that's what a sleazy realtor would say. That sort of thing, Phoenix. Boy, were they wrong. Boy, were they angry. Um, so here's what they generally were saying. I was saying, if you have cash, now's a great time to be in the real estate market. There are deals to be had. Uh, now's a good time to buy. Their response was, what a loser. Of course, that's what a realtor would say, because all they want you to do is to buy a house. Now, let's break it down, though. Huh? My feelings are not hurt. I'm fairly thick skin. Their anger is rooted in what a lot of, and I'm not going to be, I'm going to be careful not to overly generalize, but TikTok tends to be a platform that serves a younger audience. Um, and therefore, I think it's safe to infer, not assume, an inference, Phoenix, is what? You an love words. Guess. Huh? An educated, an educated guess. guess. Lean into the mic. Let the people hear you. An educated guess. There you go. I don't want to take credit for your brilliance. He says an educated guess, not just a random guess, but a guess based in education, based in Knowledge. accurate information. So the inference about this TikTok audience that is watching videos about real estate, specifically Dallas Fort Worth real estate, but they're angry. And I think I know why they're angry. I'm going to make an educated guess here. The TikTok audience, as discussed with the one and only Grady Dill previously right here on this very show, is angry that their parents, their older friends, were able to buy homes in a lower price point market and a lower interest rate market. You might say they're jealous. You might say they're raging mad. But you could also say they're envious or jealous or just downright frustrated. Uh, whatever they are in that spectrum of unhappiness is not entirely unfounded. I get it. I bought my first house at $141,000 and I think a 4% interest rate. And the payment was reasonable. And it was a decent house. I mean, it was a skunky foreclosure, but it was a large enough, nice enough, cool location. And and new home buyers that are 20 something right now don't have they just don't have that opportunity the way that I did. So I get being angry. What I don't necessarily understand is raging on someone offering you free information that was dedicated to a very specific marketplace that you don't live in. But I'm not gonna lose any sleep over that. The point I am making that I think loosely, foolishly, and somewhat inappropriately, many of them were trying to make is what I was saying doesn't feel like it applies to them. Now, just to recap, what I was saying is if you have cash, interest rates don't bother you. And whether you like current home values or not, they're very likely to be better than future home values for you, meaning lower. So you can buy a home lower and not worry about rates and have less competition and have uh, sellers that are more likely and willing to negotiate with you. That's a good thing for a cash buyer right now. Now, 
if you are a financing buyer, all those things are still positive for you except for interest rate. And it's not the worst rate you've, we've ever seen. I and mean, we've seen rates 17, 18, 19%. But 7.5 is less fun than 2.5. 6.85 is less fun than 3.85. I get that. We're not delusional. We're not clueless about that. But what I'm trying to wake up our audience to, what I'm trying to help friends, family, and neighbors realize is that in almost every scenario, home values are going to go up. By the way, if rates come down, home values are going to go up rapidly because people are going to re-enter the market and everyone's going to have to compete with each other. Last time that scenario happened, people were paying. Right now in DFW, the average price is somewhere around 400. In some pockets, it's low to mid 300s. In other pockets, it's upper 400s. So let's just call it around 400. In that price point, we were seeing people pay $100,000 more than many of us thought that house was worth. Well, I would rather not pay the extra 100,000 and deal with the extra 2 to 3 to 400 dollars a month if that is only going to last for a handful of years. So we're not going to break that down. We've been talking about it a lot on the show lately, but the TikTok people are angry. I understand the source of their anger, but some of the specifics of their compliments or of their comments were just wrong. They were definitely not compliments, to be clear. Misspoke there. They were comments, not compliments. They were very angry at me. But the reality is they've got something to be frustrated about. The commentary is specific to DFW, but if you have cash, you're in good shape in almost every market. But specific to Dallas Fort Worth, I do think it's a good time to buy. There have been better times to buy, but my prediction is that things will be less advantageous for buyers in the midterm and long-term future. So I like the fall. I like the winter for home buying. I actually also like it for selling. And a little bit later in the show, we will talk about why I like the fall market. That's why my wife and I always buy, sell, and move in the fall market. Um, I think there was one exception to that in our entire lives in the last 20 something years. So uh, we'll tell you a little bit more about that when we come back. I do want to tell you a little bit about PMR roofing. We were at baseball practice the other night with my son and I saw the largest piece of hail that I have ever personally seen in DFW. Now, to be clear, it wasn't a really crazy hailstorm. It was about eight minutes of hail. It was wild. But there was also a wide variety of hail sizes. I saw everything from like a little bigger than a quarter was the big one. Now, I've seen photos of much bigger, but that was the biggest I had witnessed it like right in front of me uh, down to a little bitty pea size. Um, but that was some big hail and it was hitting hard. There just wasn't a ton of it. But if you're in an area and you got any hail at all, the smart thing to do is to call a roofer and have them come check and just let you know the status of things. I called them. They're coming to see me tomorrow. Good. PMR roofing. Ask for Jordan Collins. That's our guy. PMR roofing.com pmrroofing.com, or you can call 214-957-0839. Easier to remember, pmrroofing.com. If you got any hail, any high wind, any heavy rain, or if you haven't had somebody check your roof in the last two years, because we're about to get more of all of that. As we head into late fall and winter, we're going to get a lot more rain, freezes, maybe snow, maybe hail, maybe sleet. You do not want uh, your roof to fail and be replacing sheetrock and insulation and wood floors and walls and appliances. Get your roof checked, pmrroofing.com. So you caught, did you get a bunch of hail or a little bit of hail? What'd you get? I got a lot and I got like the golf ball size. Okay. Yeah. Scary stuff. No, I'm interested to see. I need a new roof. I've yeah. been praying for hail. Well, that's the thing in DFW is almost nobody actually pays for a ground up new roof. You just wait for the next hailstorm and you get a very fair, legal, ethical Hail claim. Yeah. Now, hail deductibles have been going up, 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 up because roofing, you know, uh, insurance companies are are on to it. Not as profitable as they once were in our region, so that's part of it. But it's still the right thing to do. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll do a little recap of what Courtney finds out about her roof after yeah. PMR comes out. Guess who else I called? Uh, Keen Landscaping. Keen Landscaping. Yes. Because this is such a good time for you to be putting in landscaping. Why, Phoenix? Why would um, the very end of summer weather, I'm teeing you up here, why would the very end of summer weather be a great time for you to have your landscaping worked on? The grass will stop growing. So once you get landscaped, it'll all stay the same. 
for a while. Oh, interesting. Okay. I see what you did there. Like the heat of summer just wrecks everything, mm -hmm. right? And then fall, in my opinion, feels like Phoenix is agreeing, I think. It's is an the inference. Best time to be outside. Spring is the, it feels good to be outside, but everything's still not fully back to life yet, right? Summer things either grow really well or they kind of just choke die. back from the heat and die. And then the fall, you have this resurgence, but you also already have some things that are still living. So you have shade from the trees, usually have a nice breeze, a little bit cooler temperatures. It's enjoyable to be at, enjoyable to be outside. We lose some of that humidity. So if you haven't had keen landscaping, come check out your walkways, your uh, flower beds, your trees, your shrubs. Um, they do landscape lighting. They even do pools and flat work and all that stuff. You want to reach out to Keen Landscaping. That's keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, -E, live from the Keen Landscaping Studios, recommending that you reach out to Keen Landscaping at K-E-A-N-E, -E, keenlandscaping.com. All right, what else is on the agenda, party people? Um, Todd, we have a question about what is the best like real estate website or app and to be clear, I almost knocked over my delicious Topo Chico with I my know. mic stand for I've the been second nervous. time. I'm going to move it to the <laughs> left side. Republic Title brought us some really good bottle koozies the other day. I've got my green and gold Baylor color bottle koozie on my Topo Chico lime. really like the lime ones. They're very good. All right. What was the question? <laughs> The best real estate app or what like when people are wanting information yeah. about real estate so let me just give you a giant bias alert here i believe that ours is the best now here's the thing if you just go to dallashomerealty.com or toddtremonteam.com or overunderagent.com they're all going to take you to the same place we have a very robust website so just go to toddtremonteteam.com if you're going there from mobile you will have the option to download the app or just to use the web-based site. The same functionality is in both places. But, but it, why are people so drawn to Zillow? Yeah, so that's where we're going. Good question. Um, to finish the thought, what you can do on our site is nearly everything you can do on Zillow, but with accurate information direct to the local source. So our website gets updated every 15 minutes from the local Dallas-Fort Worth MLS. We're members of Metro Tech's Association of Realtors. There's a Collin County Association. A lot of people are members of one or the other. I mean, you basically have to be one or the other. We cover both areas. The point is, our data is more accurate than Zillow, period, end of story, all day long. So you might be on Zillow, and I'm not only picking on Zillow, although I don't have any issue picking on Zillow, uh, but this is even true for realtor.com or some of the big national brokerage sites. Um, I'm not going to pick on any of the big brokerages, but even if you like a site from a big brokerage, you want to use a local agent who's at that big national brokerage. You want to use that local agent site over the big national catch all website that has every city in America on it. Almost every single time that is going to be less reliable data. So, if you go to toddtramonteteam.com, you can search houses from any agent in the DFW area. You can find rentals. You can find sales. You can search by zip code. You can search by school zone, you can, school district. You can search by price. You can search by property type. You can search by bedrooms and bathrooms. A lot of these big national portals have to be dumbed down. And I don't mean they're dumb, although their data is bad sometimes. What I mean is they have to comply with all the MLSs in the country. So their display has to be very simple because all the MLSs have to be able to feed data into it. So usually it's very simple. Bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, price. On the big national portals, you can almost never do locally specific things. Whereas on our site, you could search by school district. You could search by zip code. You could search by s certain things that are specific to properties in our area that don't apply. Like you're not going to see a lot of acreage searches in New York City for, for residential property. Why not? Well, Courtney, I don't know if you know this. <laughs> But in New York City, they sell land by the foot, mm -hmm. not the acre, uh, which is true in Dallas as well, but not in all parts of Dallas. So our MLS is set to serve the needs of the whole area. Therefore, our website can serve the needs of the whole area. We also have scorecards to find out if you're ready to buy, scorecards to find out if you're ready to sell, and we have a tool to find out what your home value is right now based on local accurate data 
Not a sketchy estimate. Um, you can also find out what your home, wec- home equity is. And you can update any information that maybe isn't perfectly accurate. Like maybe you added a bedroom and the tax district doesn't know, none of my business, and the automated search doesn't have that. Well, you can't change that nearly as possible on Zillow or Realtor.com or one of the big box brokerages as you can on our website. So yes, it's ours. I think it's the best one. If you don't use ours though, use another local real estate professional that has a customized website. If they just have like a portal page from their big XYZ real estate brokerage, that's just not gonna be the best resource for you. It's not gonna have the most tools, resources, accurate information. If you go to our website right now, tatramaniteam.com, and you click on the sellers tab, you'll see an interactive map of everywhere we've sold homes within, you know, up to date within the last few months. Um, You're just not gonna get that kind of helpful, like who is this agent, what do they do, What's true about my area? What are values? Can I search by map, by zip code, by list, by quadrant, all those things. Go to toddtremonteteam.com for all of it. And if you haven't checked your property value in the last 60 days or so, you need to do that right now. toddtremonteteam.com, click home valuation or click the sellers tab. By the way, if you're on mobile, click those little three lines at the top. We kind of call them the hamburger menu. Click that and you'll see all those tools the home buyer readiness scorecard, the home seller readiness scorecard. If you're from out of the area, you can take the Texas Fit Finder scorecard. Find out if Texas really is the right fit for you. Lots and lots of helpful, valuable tools for you there. Not the least of which is searching every house for sale on the market from every real estate agent in DFW. Uh, I think it's a good resource. I think you should check it out. Just like my son says, Touchermoneyteam.com. If you're personally thinking about buying or selling a home before the end of the year, we need to talk right now. Give us a call, 214-310-0008. If you don't have another real estate professional that's full-time, fully dedicated with the staff, with the team, with all the right resources, let's at least talk. You cannot start that conversation too soon, but sadly, most people start it too late, and then they do not have all the options available to them that they should. 214 310 0008 for the Todd Tremonti home selling team or online at toddtremonteteam.com. That's 214-310-0008. Call or text or online at toddtremonteteam.com. When we come back from the break, we'll talk a little bit more about why my wife and I, and I believe, and I tell many of our clients that buying and selling is best done in the fall or early winter here in Dallas, Fort Worth back we're back we're back in the keen landscaping studios to talk to you about why fall is in my personal professional opinion the best time to buy and sell real estate now that doesn't mean it's the only time it doesn't mean there aren't other good times but the world has beat you down over the head with the idea that spring and summer are the right time to buy and sell a house and my wife and i have always bought our homes in the october november window I certainly wouldn't have any issue letting that go into December, January, depending on your holiday travel plans and things like that. Um, But October, November has almost always been when we move. And guess what, Courtney? Tell me. We're moving. What month are we moving in, Phoenix? Take a guess. It's It's not September or November, but it's in between those. October. There it is. There it is. It's happening. Good job, team. Uh, we're moving. We're going to move in October because that's what we do, Courtney. That's we your vibe. We buy and sell homes in September and October, sometimes November. I'm not making it up. That's what we do. Now, you may want to ask, and if you do, just go ahead and ask it, Phoenix. You might want to ask, why do we do that? Why do you do that? Great question. That's a very good question. I think Phoenix is catching on, Courtney. He's like me on my first day. He's like a protege, as they say. (laughs) Um, Here's the thing. First of all, I generally like to do things when other people aren't doing it. It's that's proven. You don't like to be normal. I don't. But you know why? Because normal's not all that appealing to me. And I'm not trying to be mean. Like there's no one person that's like I'm it. I represent normal. And if you do, look, I hope you're happy. The point I'm trying to make is it has gone well for me personally and professionally to not run the direction that everyone else is running. So 
what are the downsides of doing what everyone else is doing and buying in spring and summer? Well, you have to compete at the highest point of competition all year long. What are the upsides? Well, there tends to be the most homes to choose from that time of year. And if you're selling, that's the time of year there tends to be the most buyers. So I'm, I'm not saying that spring and summer is bad. There's some very good things about that. But there are also some excellent systematic market trends that typically happen in the fall that I think most people, meaning the vast majority of people, undervalue. Therefore, I believe I get an unusually high value upside selling and buying. So let's break it down. On the selling side, which we're doing, <clears throat> why would I sell in fall? The answer is the buyers that are out buying homes in the fall market are serious buyers. You don't have a bunch of people just wasting time viewing houses in the fall that aren't really ready to buy. They do that in spring and summer. They don't tend to do that in the fall. If my home is on the market in the fall, I'm usually competing with fewer other homes that are also on the market. So I'm competing with less sellers. I don't have quite as many buyers. That's We admit that. But the buyers that are out there are still very, very serious. Oftentimes, they have a unique motivation to get in before the holidays or before the end of the calendar year for work reasons or tax reasons or financial reasons of some other kind. So there's a unique motivation there. So on the selling side, I remain a confident, well-positioned seller and have always sold to a motivated uh, time sensitive buyer. That's always gone very well for us and thousands of our clients over the years. Now, as a buyer, what I'm actually not doing right now because I'm building a home, but what I normally would do as a buyer this time of year is I would buy from a seller. I would be competing with less buyers and I would buy from a seller who I'm not taking advantage of them, but unknowingly their confidence level is lower because they have this mental sense we missed out on selling during spring and summer. And in their head, they're typically thinking, we might have to wait until next spring and summer. So they tend to be a more negotiable seller. I tend to be able to get a little bit better price, a few more repairs, maybe a credit for this or that. Maybe I get my preferred timetable closing date, a few concessions here or there, or just a little bit more flexibility. So I want to be a confident seller selling to a motivated buyer. And then I want to turn around and be a confident buyer buying from a less confident seller. And I have found that in the fall and early winter are my best times to have the highest likelihood of success on both sides. That has turned out to be very true for us at least five times. Now, what I'm doing right now is selling under all those same conditions, but I'm buying basically a home I just built. So there's no real, not really another seller in that situation. Um, but the sell side of our transaction has been a very good deal for both parties, um, but we're really, really happy with it. So if you're out there and you're thinking, I'm just gonna wait till next year to buy or sell, I'm here to tell you there is still time to get that done this year before the holidays, before the end of the year, and to take advantage of all of those same conditions of selling well buying well. Um, and if rates come down, we'll benefit from that next year. And lots of good things to benefit from. So love the fall. Do not be shy. If you're thinking about selling and you would like to get it done before the end of the year, even if you don't have to, give us a call at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, 214-310-0008. We will very quickly get you scheduled for a phone call, a Zoom meeting, or a sit down in the office with one of our full-time, fully dedicated, world-class real estate professionals. Uh, the average real estate agent is part-time at best. Um, uh, they're usually solo, and I'm not picking on any one person. I'm just saying I don't think that's the best way to do it. And if you reach out to us about buying or selling now before the end of the year or any time in the future, we will get you set up with a world-class, dedicated, full-time specialist that I have personally trained, equipped, as well as Ian and many, many other members of our team, and you'll be in very good hands. 214-310-0008 or online at... DodgeRemindyTeam.com All right. We got a little story to tell you from old Gibson on the team. Gibby, as they call him, once you get to know him pretty well. Gibson Aguirre on the Todd Remindy Home Selling Team is telling us about 
uh, a buyer that came in from Florida. Now, let's just take a second and celebrate this, Phoenix, because we often hear that people leave other states for Texas or Florida. But you don't often hear about people leaving Florida for Texas. Put one in the win column, Phoenix. That's one for Texas from Florida that uh, Gibson, I think Phoenix just wrote, he literally tallied that. I appreciate that. Um, one for Gibson coming from Florida to Texas. They went under contract. By the way, they called the office, got on the phone with Gibson, met with him, hired him to be their full-time agent, and were under contract on a house in less than 30 hours. Dang. Dang, Gina. What show is that from, Phoenix? He won't know. What but I don't it? think I know. Really? I mean, I know the phrase. It's from Martin. No clue. Oh, Martin Lawrence. Martin. Yeah, dang, Gina. That's what he said to his wife all the time. All right, anyway, uh, Florida buyer calls the office, gets connected with Gibson, and they meet, they hire him, they view homes, and they're under contract in less than 30 hours. They got this house for $10,000 under asking. And then the appraisal, remember the appraiser is a licensed, neutral, third-party assessor, typically working for the bank to protect them. They came out and valued this home at $30,500 over what our buyer paid for it. We love to hear it. Now, do you hear people running around the grocery store talking about deals like that? No. You sure don't. But they are possible. And they're happening. And they're normal with the Todd Tremonti home selling team. Last week, we told a story about a buyer Andrew had that came in $20-something thousand dollars. They bought $20-something thousand dollars below appraisal. This is happening because of the strategy and the quality of the people that I am fortunate enough to work with here on the Todd Tremonti home selling team. So if you want to work with Gibson, you want to deal like that, just give us a call. 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008 or online at ToddTremontiTeam.com. ToddTremontiTeam.com. If you can't spell it, just Google it. You'll get close enough. You will find us. Call any number, fill out any form, text any number, click any button. We'll be glad to take care of you at whatever pace, in whichever manner, with whatever communication style is best for you. ToddTremontiTeam.com or 214-310-0008. While you're there, check out the reviews, 700 and something. You can read about Gibson. You can read about David. You can read about John, Jeremy, Mari, the whole crew, Grady, everyone involved. We even get a few sh staff shout outs every once in a while for Robert or Courtney or Brandon or Ian, maybe even me from time to time. Uh, but we would love for you to be the next five-star review. We'd love to take world-class care of you, delivering world-class value, not just real estate value, but lifestyle value to you, your family, your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers when it's time to buy or sell real estate. Listen, um, we specialize in homes on land. Not wrong. And um, I want you to talk to me about like dealing with neighbors. And like, I, that seems like a big component, right? I want space. I want my own area. And like, what is it? Like I wanna buy land and I want an acre or more because I don't want my neighbors to look over the fence. And right. I don't but want them I'm driving on the I'm still going to have neighbors. Yeah. So you have a couple options here. If we go far enough out, maybe your neighbors are on the other side of the fence, but you don't see them because your fence is barbed wire and you have 10 acres between your house and your fence, and so do they. That's totally possible. Um, what's more likely to be the case and what we do most of is you have one or two or three acres and you know where the neighbors are and you can probably see their chimney or even their driveway, but we're not talking about like their music is bothering you over the fence or, you know, uh, the basketball goes over the fence and you can't get it back. We're talking about a very different perspective of boundaries. And what I mean is normally when we sell someone an acreage home, which again, we do all the time, they're in an area where lots of the homes are acreage homes, right? So I have two acres, you have two acres, which means we both have that buffer. Now I will tell you, we will also occasionally sell a property that's kind of an infill, meaning maybe there are neighborhoods around you and that's that last piece of land left. That's a little different. We see more of that in Wiley, Parker, Saxe, Murphy, Benbrook, um, 
some parts of Alito, some parts of Fort Worth, uh, older parts of McKinney and Frisco, areas like that where a lot of that has grown up and been developed into quarter acre lots, but there's still some one and two acre lots. So the answer to your question is look before you buy. Ask before you buy. Check that out. You need to be appropriate and respectful of people's boundaries, but neighbors are a major part of living someplace, okay? So if I want an acre and I want a ton of privacy, I probably want an acre where my neighbors have an acre. I might be less inclined to buy the acre where my neighbors have a quarter acre. I'm thinking of downtown McKinney, by the way, where there are areas as you make your way in and around downtown McKinney where there are little quarter acre lots and there's also areas where there's three quarter acre lots or acre and a half lots. Some of those are going to have less privacy because the neighbor doesn't have the same kind of property. Whereas if you're out in Lucas or Alito or Weatherford and you have an acre, most of your neighbors also have an acre or two or three. And so that's the majority of acreage property. And so all that to say, you're typically not talking about an eight foot board on board cedar fence. You're talking about barbed wire or just regular wire without barbs, right? I can see through it, but I like what I see. They like what they see. We have very, very little issue with neighboring properties. Now, if you're going to have a neighbor issue on land, other than like a personality, like we just don't like each other, it typically has to do with access. Like I have to drive on your land to get to my land and you legally have to let me do that but you don't necessarily like the way I do it, or you want to put a gate in this spot. Those are also things you need to ask about before you buy, because I've been the buyer that gets really excited about land and just loves the look and feel and space of it. And then later on has to figure a little bit of this out. So learn from the mistakes of many of us and go, Hey, I need to know what should I be asking before I buy this property? And the only person you can really ask that to is someone who really understands homes on land. Now, almost any real estate agent is gonna tell you they can do that, but you need to know that they have done that. And you need to say to them up front before you hire them, what do I need to know before I buy a home on land? And if they don't have much information for you, you need to keep looking. They should be able to tell you, we're gonna look at septic, we're gonna look at wells, we're gonna look at fences, we're gonna look at access, we're gonna look at power, we're gonna look at gas. Is it propane or is it uh, provided by uh, you know a, a main provider? Is it above ground, is it below ground? How big's the tank? Is it a lease, is it sold? And that example applies to everything, solar, water, power, fence, landscaping. Um, is it irrigated? Can it be irrigated? Am I in the city? Am I in the county? Uh, what are the codes? What are the restrictions? Where's the building line? Uh, and I could go on and on and on. I mean, on. these questions are real. Like my friend got a home on land and they all had to um, manage the road together. Yep. In I know the friend you're talking about. We won't give it away, but this is in Parker. And Parker originally, you know, everything was two acres. You still have to be on some chunk of land. Um, I'll be careful with that. But anyway, they're, they're, um, they're in an area where let's just say fewer than a dozen homes are personally responsible for maintaining one pretty darn long road to access their properties. So it normally looks like every few years pitching in, having another load of rock dumped, and then using that for the next few years, once or twice a year to have somebody drag that with a box blade, level in the potholes, which are never fully leveled. No. And by the way, that in my mind, that's a totally acceptable trade-off to have home on land in the right spot. But for others of you, you might have spent all your time and attention focusing on the land, the animals, the trees, the pond, the pool, the trails. And then you might realize later, gosh, we should have thought more about that. And the protection from that is having the right agent that specializes in homes on land. They don't have to only sell homes on land, but they need to sell enough homes on land that they can help you fully evaluate that. One is not enough. None is definitely not enough. Call the Tatramani Home Selling Team. That is one of our top three areas of specialization because we're an agent, a team of about 12 people. We're able to have a few. Uh, if, if that's something you're looking at, give us a call. 214-310-0008. That's 214 310 
zero 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 eight or online like my son says toddtremontiteam.com that's toddtremontiteam.com now not only does my son get to from time to time speak on the radio because we pre-recorded his voice but i've got my lovely daughters in the studio with me right now you want to tell everybody hello hi <laughs> oh cute that is the amazing ally and the delightful laney and uh, after the show, we might record some drops from them so you can begin to hear from them like you hear my son here. Touchreminiteam.com. You never know what we might get out of the girls. So um, what's going on in DFW real estate, ladies? What's, what's, what's on your mind? What do you see happening in your personal life right now in DFW real estate? Apparently a lot. Apparently a lot. We're building a house and we're moving. And when does our family historically move? Summer, winter, fall, or spring? Fall. We always move in the fall. See, it's true. What I say is true. We move in the fall because we believe there are huge advantages to buying and or selling in the fall. But especially if you're buying and selling, give us a call right now. 214-310-0008. Even if you're not planning on doing that until next year, you can never start that conversation too soon, but sadly, most people start it way too late. All right, what else is on the agenda? Uh, we got producer Phoenix on the show for the first time, girls. The producer intern himself, Phoenix, and then we have full price Courtney. What else do we need to cover here, Courtney? We're going to do a couple live reads, but before that, what do you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Well, um, talk to me about, I mean, are you still, you got, what are you reading? man um i'm reading a book right now that is a very complicated book but it's touching on some of the key leaders in the formation of our country and i'll just say this it's got me really grateful mm. it's got me really grateful that brilliant men and women typically the books are about the men but brilliant men and women did unbelievably hard things uh, and face challenges that I just don't think current generations can even truly comprehend. Um, I, and I'll just tell you, I've been fascinated by the writing of the founding documents of our country. I have, a, I have the book, a book at our house that's a compilation of the Federalist Papers. And every 4th of July, I get them out and read a, read a couple things to our kiddos and they kind of roll their eyes, right, girls? Yep. Yep. Unapologetically, Allie says, Yep. Um, but what I'm trying to give them a hint of, and I'm getting a heavy dose of right now is just how do you start with a blank piece of paper and end up with one of the greatest, most powerful documents to bring people out of poverty, out of a lack of religious freedom, financial freedom, relational freedom, mm. location freedom, literally food and diet freedom. Like we don't fully comprehend the things that people left to come here. There's discrepancy about how much you love our country or what freedoms we have or the imperfections of our country because we are not perfect. But to just grasp what it would take to pack up and leave a country, your family, your economy, your food system, all the things that are just normal and have always been normal and go completely new someplace and do it because of a group of people that made that happen is fascinating to me and really has got me in a place of significant gratitude um, to live in the United States of America. So proud to be American, not a perfect country, but would not want to live, love to visit, but would not want to live any other place uh, and, and uh, bring up these girls and their brother. So that's what I got. That's what I'm reading right now. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've started a few other things as well. Onward is one I've just recently started uh, a kind of theological faith-based book that <clears throat> is off to a really good start as well. Okay, folks, if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate anytime soon, we need to talk. And we can talk at no charge, no obligation. You don't have to hire us immediately. You don't have to pay us anything. Uh, but we do want to talk to you about what the right decisions are and if it makes sense to work together down the road. 214-310-0008 or online at toddtremonteteam.com where you can find your property value, search every home for sale by every agent, take a scorecard or a quiz, find out if you're ready to buy, if you're ready to sell, 
Uh, if you haven't checked your uh, your uh, your insurance lately, I want you to go to goosehead.com. Email dp.lambert at goosehead.com. And uh, we love the super home warranty folks. And I've got my Republic title koozie going right here. You can find all the pros that we work with day in and day out at toddtremontiteam.com. Just click on that radio tab. Final word from producer, intern, international man of mystery, the Phoenix. What do you have for the people? Check out Todd Tremonti for great deals and great service. How about that? ToddTremontiTeam.com. Thanks, Phoenix. Thanks, Courtney. Thanks, ladies. Final thought? Yeah. Tell them goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. We'll talk to you next week. Same time, same place. Check out the podcast. DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti, wherever you listen to podcasts.